midday news. The senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity says the Department of State Services, DSS, is analyzing the audio recording of Leah Sharibu. Sharibu was kidnapped alongside 118 students at the Government Girls Secondary School, Dabchi Yobe State, in February. Member of strategic team Bring Back Our Girls, Buki Shunibare, joins me now to share her thoughts on this. Thank you for joining us, Buki. Now, uh, the federal government says the DSS is analyzing the audio, but uh, Leah's father, Nathan, has uh, confirmed that that is actually Leah's voice. Now, isn't that enough proof for the federal government to move ahead and take every action it intends to take? Because time is of essence. Um, Leah Sharibu's father confirming that that is Leah Sharibu's voice is sufficient proof to show that that is actually Leah Sharibu. We don't need to elongate the process or make it unnecessarily too technical before we can then take action. So the federal government um, should actually or expectedly um, have reached out to Leah Sharibu's father or mother and confirmed that that is her voice. And with that, because, of course, today makes it um, exactly 190 days since Leah Sharibu has been abducted. Every day is agony for that girl. So that voice that has been confirmed by her father is actually sufficient to call for the kind of action that is expected to have been taken so far. Well, you, you talked about uh, the federal government or the DSS reaching out to Leah's father, but when we spoke with him yesterday, he said uh, since his daughter was abducted, uh, gotten in touch with him. So do you think that uh, the government really wants to work with him? It, it's not even the prerogative of the government to say whether they want to work with him or not. When we have cases of abductions like this, one of the critical stakeholders are the immediate family members and parents of the person. And in this case, Leah Sharibu is a young girl. So our parents should or must be worked with in order for us to get um, a successful conclusion to this. Um, we've had that kind of report from Leah Sharibu's father and even mother saying that they've not gotten any um, um, response or any any contact from the government, except for NGOs and well-meaning individuals. And that is quite unfortunate. Now that we've had the Sharibu's voice, it is important for the government to correct what it should have done so far. Reach out to the family, even if any action is being taken, which is doubted, make sure that they know. So if that is not being done even till now, it's quite unfortunate and such a disappointment um, on the part of the government. Now, the presidency had said that it would do whatever it takes, uh, it would, it could take to bring them back, or, as well as uh, Leah. So what are now your expectations since it is still analyzing uh, that audio? First, let me start with the second limb of what is said. Analyzing the audio is, um, for lack of a better way of putting it, a lazy way of getting the job done. This audio came out more than now two days ago. We can't spend the whole time trying to analyze a video. This girl has been in abduction for almost six and a half months today. The Chiba girls has been in abduction for 1,598 days today. So we can't say that because we are trying to analyze or we are trying to get certain things are a given. So we shouldn't wait for those kind of analysis for the kind of action to be done. Now going back to your to your main question. The federal government, first, the abduction shouldn't have happened in the first place. Now that it has happened, the federal government should have taken all the action that needs to be taken. We know that Leah Sharibu is being held because of her, her faith, because she refused to denounce her faith. Just that one girl. So if the federal government could get over a hundred of these girls back, what is then stopping them from getting one girl back? That reels of a very funny kind of odor that shouldn't be communicated to Nigeria at this time, especially as we are quite in a very vulnerable situation where there are issues around ethnicity, religious bias, and all of that. So I think that the federal government has everything it now needs to take action. The video came from, the audio came from somewhere. Leah Sharibu has now been proven to be alive somewhere. And if the federal government don't get her back, at least within the next 15 to 30 days, then something is definitely wrong. All right, so member strategic team, bring back our girls, Bukishoni Barrett. Thank you for your time on the Midday News.